hey ma'am, I, I see that we're um, here to look at your right wrist today, and I see that you have some swelling there. How long has that been going on? Maybe about a month, a month and a half. And did you injure yourself at all? Not at all. No? no? And you got pain that's associated with that as well? Yes, sir. Lots of pain. Okay. No injuries, but what type of stuff do you do that makes the pain come on? Brushing my teeth, feeding myself, picking up my baby. Okay. Any particular movements with the hand at all that tend to bring it out? Yeah, if I move my arm a certain way like this, that hurts. It makes the pain. And, and yeah. is it hurting right in here where the swelling is? Yes. Okay. Right there. Can you localize exactly where your pain is? Right up in here. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple tests with your wrist real quick. And if you could, just with your, with your thumb, mm -hmm. take your thumb and bring your thumb into the palm of your hand like this. And then take your fingers, wrap your fingers over top like so, and then take your wrist down like this, like you're casting a fishing rod. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that hurts. Where is that? And where, where's that cause the pain at? Right here. Right in there? Okay. And you can go ahead and relax there. And the other thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna move your thumb up and down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put my thumb here right where it's hurting. Mm -hmm. And then if I do this, mm -hmm. same spot right underneath my thumb right there, that's where it's hurting. Yeah, yes. Okay. So I think that is more consistent with first compartment involvement. The, the swelling is more distal, um, and obviously we have to sort out, is this a, a um, the queer veins first compartment, or is this an intersection syndrome? And I think this fits more with a, uh, a de queer veins first compartment.